everyone, I am Ria Siljoyce Enquisto from Bissette English Block B and I am here to discuss about the summaries of The Weasel by Benjamin Franklin and the Gettysburg Address by Abraham Lincoln. So, what are the objectives? The objectives are to present the author of The Weasel and the Gettysburg Address, to present the summaries of The Weasel and the Gettysburg Address. Let me introduce to you the author of The Weasel. Benjamin Franklin was born on Sunday, January 17, 1706 in Boston, Massachusetts, which was then a British colony, and died April 17, 1790 at Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. Benjamin Franklin's parents were Georgia Franklin and Abia Foger. He has 16 siblings. His father, Joshia, had 7 children with his first wife, Anne Child, and 10 more with Abia Foger. Ben was Joshia's 15th child and his youngest son. He was American printer and publisher, author, inventor, and scientist, and diplomat. He is one of the most foremost of the founding fathers. Franklin helped draft the Declaration of the Independence and was one of its signers, represented the United States in France during the American Revolution, and was a delegate to the Constitutional Convention. Benjamin Franklin made important contributions to science, especially in the understanding of electricity, and is remembered for the wit, wisdom, and elegance of his writing. The Whistle is a parabolic short story com letter penned on the 10th of November, 1779 by American founding father, Benjamin Franklin. Franklin wrote this parabolic short story, come letter at the age of 73 to Anne Louis Brillon de Jouy. She was a French musician and composer. In 1777, Anne composed the March des Insurgents or March of the Insurgents to celebrate an American victory in the American Revolutionary Revolu War. She became a friend of Benjamin Franklin with whom she regularly corresponded during and after his stay in her home city during the American Revolution. The story of the whistle is told to her by Benjamin Franklin as Madame Brillon loves stories and since he was writing to her after a very long time, he thought he might share the story of his childhood with her. Benjamin Franklin is remembered as statesman, author, publisher, scientist, inventor, and diplomat. The American people are in debt for his service to their country. Here is the summary of The Whistle by Benjamin Franklin. When Benjamin Franklin was 7 years old, he was given some coppers and told that he could spend them on anything that he liked. He came from a large family with lots of brothers and sisters, and so many was never something that was offered often. On this particular day, Benjamin Franklin was excited and rushed off to the toy shop to spend his pennies. On the way there, he met a boy playing a whistle, and was so taken by the sound that it made that he offered all of his coppers for it. When he got home, his family soon made him aware that he had paid for too much for the whistle and that he could have bought four times as many. This upset Benjamin Franklin so much so that he lost all pleasure in the whistle, but it taught him a valuable lesson. Benjamin Franklin never forgot his episode in his life and used it as point of reference on many occasions. If he was ever tempted to buy something that was not necessary, he would tell himself, don't give too much for the whistle, and in that way he saved money. He also used this story as a parable by which he led his life. If he never saw anybody whom he considered to be wasteful or giving too much of themselves, he would tell himself, that they were paying too much for their whistle. He did not just apply this principle to material things, but also to how people behave or what they tolerated. Interesting, right? Now, let's proceed to the Gettysburg Address by Abraham Lincoln. Let me first introduce to you the author. Who is Abraham Lincoln? Abraham Lincoln was born on February 12, 89, near Hodgenville, Kentucky, U.S., and died April 15, 1865, at Washington, D.C. Lincoln was born to Thomas Lincoln and Nancy Hanks Lincoln. He was the 16th President of the United States and is regarded as one of the America's greatest heroes due to his role as savior of the Union and emancipator of enslaved people. His rise from humble beginnings to achieving the highest office in the land is a remarkable story. Now, here is the summary of the Gettysburg Address by Abraham Lincoln. 
On November 19, 1863, in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, Abraham Lincoln gives his most famous speech as president. This address takes place at Union Cemetery after the Battle of Gettysburg and is meant to help mourn the loss of the soldiers that died. But it did take way more than that. The Gettysburg Address is one of the most important speeches given during the time of the Civil War. This speech has encapsulates everything that the United States was struggling with during that time. Abraham Lincoln is able to use the speech as a sign of hope for the thousands of people who have lost it. The Gettysburg Address embodies what our country stands for, but also show why the United States is a great country. Though the struggle of the war was at its climax, Lincoln was able to bring a sense of security to the people of the Union. The beginning of the speech sets the tone for the message Lincoln is trying to convey. In his address, he states, Four scores and seven years ago, our father brought forth upon this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. In this infamous quote, he is trying to make the statement that this country is founded on the principle of equality and he plans to do all he can to make it stay that way. So, many people in the country at that time just wanted the country to come back together on the principle it was founded on. Another point is that Lincoln tries to make in his address in that you can forget the events that are unfolding throughout the war. He says that we here highly resolve this debt shall not have died in vain, that the nation shall have a new birth of freedom, and that the government, by the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Lincoln is trying to tell the people of the Union and the rest of the divided country that we have to protect the principles that men on the battlefield are fighting for, and we can't let them die in vain. He also sends a beacon of hope to many people throughout, saying that we are still a country for the people, and it, it will not change. Here are the conclusions. The Gettysburg Artist is one of the most influential speeches of its time, and it's still known around the United States today. Lincoln was able to convey a message of hope and determination when it was hard to either of them. He spoke of the principle our countries were founded on and why we cannot forget the importance of each event of the Civil War. The effect of this war is still a chaos throughout our everyday lives. This address is able to embody everything we stand for as a country and it will forever be known as one of the best speeches given by a president. And that ends my discussion about the summaries of The Whistle by Benjamin Franklin and the Gettysburg Address by Abraham Lincoln. Thank you for listening.